episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Let's see. Level 5. 5 and level 6. Let's do this one first. The mask of peace and hope comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Giacchi. Uh, um, young fellow, do my hero senses detect that you got troubles? Just say a word, and Captain Justice will make all your problems disappear. Uh, uh, who, who, me? Meow. I'm just trying to make some friends. Never mind. Forget it. Don't be intimidated by my magnificence. Go on and spit it out. Then remember to vote Captain J. Vote? No. Oh, well, uh, forget that. How can I help? That's the only reason I'm here. Hmm. I know. Tell me about your town. Everything's so festive. Is it always like this? Huh? That's it? Nothing else? Well, the festivities are on account of the Dream Festival, which is why I made sure there's carnival stuff all over town. Really? Like what? Oh, you gotta see it for yourself. Wouldn't be much of a dream if I just told you. Right. Thanks. And kid, don't you go forgetting. Captain Justice is the one who solved all your problems. That would be Justice with a J. Uh, sure. I got it, Captain Justice. Ah, oh, Zoe, this stinks. Now we can't open the ice cream shop. Trouble? Rescue is on the way. A festival, huh? Well, maybe I can make some new friends. Kid Captain Justice saved. Afraid you'll have to get in line. I'm working on another catastrophe here for these fellas. Huey, Dewey, and Louie were good friends. Now I'd hardly call it a catastrophe. Yeah, all we were trying to do was make our own special recipe ice cream. And we had a little trouble. Come on, it's not really that big a deal. I'm 100% positive you're the victims of sabotage. Not even close. Quit making stuff up. It's just the ice cream machine. Uncle Scrooge left it for us, but we can't figure out how it works because it's so complicated. Oh, we're sorry, Queen Minnie. We wanted you to be the first to try our special recipe ice cream. Oh, boys, it was very sweet of you to think of me. We tried. Say no more, leave it to me. One bowl of ice cream coming right up. You're just gonna make a mess. Leave it alone, Pete. That's Captain Justice! Ooh, this machine is busted! It just needs a good pounding! It does not! Hey, do you think I could give it a shot? No, Captain Justice can't fix it. There ain't nothing you can do, kid. Maybe not, but there's no harm in trying. Here you go! These are the directions for the machine. Alright, here we go. The thing that does suck about this world, even though you can fight things here, 
it is just basically a um, mini game world. might have got it to work this one time, but junk like that needs to get junked. Don't you dare, no. Pete! Fine, but Captain Justice will return! About Captain Justice, you said his name is Pete? Yeah, he's the biggest troublemaker in town! I bet he's just calling himself Captain Justice because he wants to win the Million Dreams Award. What's the Million Dreams Award? That's one of the Dream Festival events. Everyone votes for who they think is the town's most exemplary citizen. I get it. So that's what he meant by vote. And if you win the award, you get a really cool prize! Oh, it's just a small token. Nothing elaborate. The event is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. That's the spirit of the award. Well, that sounds nice enough. He just wants to get his grubby hands on the prize. And he knows that nobody's gonna vote for him if he puts his own name on the ballot. But nobody's fooled! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wish somebody was looking out for me. Who do you think's gonna win this year's Million Dreams Award? Boy, oh boy! I hope it's the guy I voted for! I voted for him too! Now that we got so much business at the shop, maybe we'll be number one! Wow, Uncle Scrooge sure would be proud of us if we actually won. Yeah, and I bet Uncle Donald would be pretty surprised too. Hello everyone, and thank you for waiting. Now it's time to begin the main event of our Dream Festival. The Million Dreams Award Presentation. <laughs> Just skip to the part where you say my name. This is a shoe in Oh, how very exciting! This year, we have multiple winners. The Million Dreams Award goes to... Ventus, Aqua, and Terra. All three of you. <laughs> <laughs> When were Aqua and Terra here? What do you mean? There's gotta be a mistake. Everybody voted for Captain Justice. I made sure. Now go on, tell her. No. 
better try the other one. The Rogue Racer, Captain Dark. Pete, we counted the votes very carefully. Ventus, Aqua, and Terra won. Oh, Pete, I think you tried to do something good, but you were doing it for the wrong reasons, and you went about it the wrong way. Still, a couple of citizens must have thought you had goodness in you because you actually got a few votes. They knew you were looking out for them. Big whoop. I don't need their lousy votes. Just cough up my prize. Pete! They voted for you because they believe in you and care about you. How could you look down on that? I've tried to forgive a lot of things you've done, but this is too much. Now you finally crossed the line. Like that matters to me. Besides, what are you going to do about it? Huh. I'm going to let you cool off for a while. Guards! Wait, wait, what? Hey. Let me go. Put me down. What? No, you can't. No, no, no. Hey, easy. Ow! Now, shall we continue the ceremony? Would the three winners, Ventus, Aqua, and Terra, please come up and join me on the stage? Oh, dear. It looks like our other two winners couldn't make it here to be with us today. They both already left. Perhaps you would accept the award on their behalf. After all, you've been so kind to so many here at the Dream Festival. So now, I hereby present the Million Dreams Award as a token of how much you matter to us. Congratulations! <laughs> and as an extra treat, we've created something special. An ice cream flavor just for you. Double Crunch Ice Cream! Oh my, I wish I had my own ice cream flavor. What's it taste like? Go on, try it! Great. Oh, we're all very glad you're enjoying it. No. <laughs> Who does she think she is dumping me in a place like this? Well, I'll just bust out of here and... Quite fool. You do not possess that kind of power. Who? Who's there? Show yourself! That is enough. Stop your sniveling and heed my words. Um, okay. If you do exactly as I say, I may decide to release you from this prison. Really? Oh, then you can count on me. Just get me out of here and you can tell me what to do. A very wise choice indeed. Proceed. With your help, soon every world in existence will all be mine. Alright. I really forgot you got to see that cutscene. It lasts way longer than I thought it was going to. Uh... So I hope you enjoyed this episode like I did, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.